Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. We've got two sets of trios in this episode. We've got a trio of mods from Selmy. We've got a trio of new roofs available to add to your stations. We're currently starting with this Class 25 by Selmy. Another mod from him. He's a relative newcomer but already he's got about three or four mods. I featured the Class 56 last week and that has since been remodelled as well so check that out. It has uh, it's been extra added detail has been added to it and yeah it just looks looks better than it did and it was already you know a good mod to start with We've got this class 25 and there is a class 24 as well which we will take a look at I don't think there is much physical visible difference between them but I think the stats are more telling so that's the uh, that's the class 25 and this is the class 24 over here so I think they're rel relatively similar, I think. And again, a good looking mod, especially from a, a newcomer. And it's good to have some early diesel locomotives in the game. I think the 25 is 1961 and the 24 is 1958. So 1958 is quite, for a UK diesel locomotive, is really quite early. And we've got another locomotive from Selmy here. We've got a seven, class 17. Uh, available from 1962 just another good early diesel locomotive we'll check the stats out in a minute i just wanted to have a look at them all side uh, all first and then we'll take a look at the stats so yeah there's i think they are just the uh sounds from the game library but even so they're a good mod to have and it is just nice having these earlier british uh, diesel locomotives are ba available to use and yeah you can even see the detail in the cab there you've got fire extinguisher and controls and things so you know it is a detailed mod and it's pretty good going i think so there we are that is the steam loco steam no definitely not steam in this episode <laughs> diesel locomotives and we'll take a look in the in the workshop so we've got the class 17 60 miles per hour 457 horsepower so it's it i don't think it's a just a shunting engine but it is something for working smaller lines it's, it's definitely not a mainline locomotive is it so far 457 horsepower 178 kilonewtons tractive effort and then we've got the class 24 75 miles per hour 1176 horsepower 18 186 kilonewtons and then the class 25 this is where the difference is so they look i'm pretty sure they look similar ish or do they i'm gonna i'm gonna have a double double check because i think I, j I did see some discussion so just uh, about certain locomotives so let's have a look at the 24 that, that's the 24 isn't it so have a, we'll have a good look at the mod i think sometimes i do tend to kind of pan away from the mods a bit too soon you, d you do want a good look at them don't you so let's take a look at that and then where's the the 25 coming down the track actually we, they're, they're coming head to head now so we can actually take a bit of a look at them side by side well, that would be a better idea wouldn't it that was that was close so yeah they are outwardly quite similar there's a few different details here and there but they are outwardly similar but we go back to the depot that is where the the difference is so we go with vehicles we go with 24 we said 75 horse uh, 75 miles per hour the class 25 can do 90 miles per hour which isn't a bad speed actually for an earlier diesel locomotive 1220 1267 horsepower so little little bit of extra horse almost 100 horsepower more uh, but slightly less tractive effort I guess that's because of the higher top speed so this would be a possibly oh also known as a Sulza type 2 uh, built between yeah so it's actually got a nice little de description as well which I never tend to read do I this class was used uh, as class 25 so that was the earlier one so that would be good on anything freight possibly maybe slightly a little underpowered for a big freight locomotive but 90 miles per hour that would be good for a definitely good for a passenger service so there we are we've got three early diesel locomotives br diesel locomotives next thing i want to look at is something slightly different it is some billboards these are by mad hatter and these are just a little bit of fun they're great for detailing if you if you're really into your detailing and you want some extra billboards then these are the ones for you. You've got a, a selection I've just put up here, which is <laughs> Boris Johnson. But they're in, they are in, where are they? Somewhere. Obviously they're in assets and you've got some different ones here which you can place down. You can even change the size 
of them well you can change the width like so so you can have a little tiny billboard or you could increase the scale in this is in percentage terms so that's the biggest one you can have there and then you've got a little tiny was that, was that the actual the smallest you can do but you've got just different ones so just great for detailing not sure when they become available but yeah they're just they are there and they they're almost they're a bit strange because they're almost like glass aren't they because they're like you can see straight through them but i guess that's so that you can actually when the light comes through them i'm guessing you can actually see them illuminated more because otherwise i think if especially if you're using morning mod or something like that they really would be quite shaded so they are those next we have some new roofs we've got two sets by cw315 and these are fantastic we've got manchester piccadilly here which has walls as well so we've got the the ornate steel work and we've got the walls to match and they just look really really good i've just put a couple of different variations here so we've got a double span with a mini span in the middle now i know this isn't realistic but just it just shows you that they are completely modular and they, they will work across all site types of variations so you don't just have to use them on a manchester piccadilly piccadilly rebuild it's just a nice looking roof yeah so there we are we've got that one we've also got the whole paragon roof as well again it looks you know completely different style of roof and we've got different style of walls as well to match and they do look again really really good i've i am some i did my northern powerhouse episode uh, last was it last thursday and people were commenting i hope you only use the roofs and i do use them in the next episode of the uk northern powerhouse so don't worry about that i'm already already well on these because yeah i couldn't resist it basically because they do look really good and they just transform the stations we do have another roof as well which is by a different creator now i'm probably gonna mess this right up with pronunciation you know, you know what i'm like but we have the i'm going to say parache modular roof it's obviously french and it's by alcalique i'm going to say if i'm wrong then uh, yeah correct me but i know these aren't uk roofs but they could be used in any uk roof i've already used a couple of these well some of these in a couple of stations just to make them look a little bit more realistic because you do have stations like chester has more of a triangular station roof and this is a little bit more fitting so yeah even though it's not uk i think it's fitting within the uk scene even though it's from a specific station so if you haven't used these modular roofs before i was just going to quickly show you how to configure them so they're usually in misc and we do have some already you've got the the classic the first one which was basically that one there like that which is nice enough but it's just good to have a good selection of roofs so to actually place the roof we're going to we'll go with the manchester piccadilly one first of all so there are different ways you can do this so you can have one giant roof like that which wouldn't be particularly realistic or you can divide the roof up into various configurations so you can have like an offset like that or if you put one in the middle you'll have a little mini roof down the center there and maybe just another one like that it just splits them all up and it's exactly the same with the hull like that uh, if you go something something like that so yeah it's dead easy to put down and then you've got the these ones here as well which work exactly the same it just depends on the span it just puts in the extra piece of roof so there we are i've got great selection of roofs that's good to see we've got a good selection of early diesel locomotives and we've got some billboards as well for if you're into detailing now the only thing i've noticed with these when you zoom out they disappear now i'm not sure if that's because of my graphic settings it probably more than likely is but as soon as you oh having said that did i delete them or am i at the wrong station i must did i delete them i think i did didn't i <laughs> right so there yeah if you zoom out they do come in here as soon as you want to start doing your uh your photographs and whatnot so i was going to leave the episode there but then these dropped on saturday but it's, these are the first great western plus 43 power cars to go with the dynamic lines mark three carriages and i couldn't resist featuring these because the dynamic lines livery is probably one of my favorite liveries and it is one of the one of the classics and northern fail has produced some power cars to match these you do have to build the sets yourself i did have a look in the old tab and i couldn't see a fixed formation so you do have to build it yourself but you can now build a full looking a nice looking first great western dynamic lines liveried hst 
uh, it just looks really nice. I wanted to feature it, so just took the opportunity while I could just to record this final little bit of the uh, of the 43 HST. I thought I just needed to uh, just needed to feature it at the end of this episode. But that really is that is all today. Um, yeah, just just appreciate that. So I think what I will do, I will I will end it there now, and I'll leave you appreciating the uh, the class 43. HST and the dynamic lines consist. I know it's not quite right, but it, you can at least get to appreciate how it looks. So yeah, the original model obviously by Killer Cans and Northern Fails done the power cars. I think there is, by the sounds of it, a big livery pack on its way for the HSTs, but this is just a bit of a stopgap for now, so you can uh, you can build those first Great Western dynamic lines. HST consists. So there we are. Going to leave you that and say until next time, bye bye.